occasionally if I have to Google, you know, like everybody, I'll Google my name occasionally and it'll say Archive of American Television. I'll go, oh, I didn't realize that that was on and I'll go take a look. And there I am with Joe Wershba, Reuven Frank, or Pam. And, you know, I just look at that and go, I can't believe I was that young, you know. I, it's just horrifying to, to think that's what I looked like back in those days. Um, and then I hear my voice and, um, you know, you asked me earlier, you know, would I go on television or would I think about that? But no, I mean, I have the worst, you know, it's that New York accent that comes through. My goodness, no. And so I hear that voice of my voice in the background and it's awful. It's, you know, torture for me to listen to it. Um, so I, you know, I just can't do it. But on the other hand, the interviews are good. They're really good. This, this archive, is so much better than I thought it ever would be. And I did think it was valuable. I'm, you know, I wouldn't lie about that. I thought this was a great idea that they had. And it was in line with what I wanted to do. But it's, um, who'd, who'd have thought it would have lasted this long? And who'd have thought that it would be, you know, especially for me, it was always about the older people. But occasionally I'll watch one of the more recent interviews. And they're brilliant. They're great. And, um, you know, I'm just so happy to be a part of, even, even with the difficulty in the beginning, you know, um, I was so sort of honored to be a part of it and to think that I had something to do with founding it, you know, that, that, that book, that interview, that story, all of those led to the box and then the box led to this archive. I mean, you think about that, right? What if I didn't read that story? What if I didn't hear this? Would this have all come together? I don't know. They, they told me that it was my book that, that, that got them started. Well, what if that book wasn't published? You know, what if I didn't do any of this stuff? You know, you'd, you'd be doing something more interesting this afternoon. You know, I, I, I don't know. But it's funny how things happen. Uh, my, my whole publishing career is you know, came about by accident. Um, nobody wanted anything, but you know, just one thing led to another and I ended up here in that sense. Um, if my friend Hugo Gellert didn't die and somebody didn't see this, didn't see something and didn't see something, I wouldn't have had the New York book. I wouldn't have had the box and who knows? You know, it's all sort of a cosmic accident, I guess. Uh -huh. Certainly my career is.